Hi everyone, this is Pastor Jesse, and I'm doing my vlog today on March 30th with my four-year-old golden doodle named Molly. Molly's had her hair cut recently, so she's not as fluffy as she normally is, but she and I try to go on walks most every day. And it's one of the rituals that I hold on to in my life, taking my dog on a walk, no matter what else is going on. There are some times when rituals are especially important. For instance, if you are grieving somebody's death, like I was with my father more than a year ago, there were certain rituals I looked forward to, coming home, walking the dog, having a cup of tea, reading a book under a blanket. The thing about comfort rituals is you usually don't accomplish very much. There's nothing you can point to that you produced while you were having a cup of tea or reading a book or walking a dog or lying in the sun. But comforting your spirit is one of the most important things you can do in times of uncertainty and instability. The scriptures can also be a great comfort. Yesterday, I preached on stability and the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead and how Jesus walked slowly everywhere he went and noticed and heard and listened to people. To me, reading scripture is something that keeps me grounded and centered. And so uh, today I was reading out of Ephesians 6, which is also about standing firm. And Paul writes in Ephesians 6, to put on the full armor of God, that when you have done everything to stand with the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Lord, and feet always ready to share the gospel of peace. Whatever your favorite verses are, now is a good time to pull them out. Share them with somebody else. Maybe they've never heard them before. We can find comfort in conversations with each other, our friendships, our animals, nature, scripture, and time spent in prayer with God. Another word for the Holy Spirit is comforter. May you let the Holy Spirit comfort you during this time and know that you are loved.